All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Florida Lawns. Today we're going to a, a new construction house. One of my friends just moved into a new house and they got freshly planted sod. It's about three months old, St. Augustine, Floritam sod. So he's having a little bit of problems with getting it to grow right now and he has a bunch of dead spots. So I'm gonna go out there and assess the situation um, he sent me some pictures and from what I can tell it looks like his sprinklers aren't set up right He has a touch of fungus maybe a little bit of a bug problem and it's definitely underfed it needs nitrogen He's never put nitrogen on it. So We're gonna go out there assess the situation See what we need and then we're gonna make a trip to our local box store and I'm gonna show him everything he needs to know and a few things he can buy from the local box stores and you know See if I can make another uh, lawn care nut in the making and get somebody else on this uh, yard care game. So that's what we're going to do. This is going to be a video about assessing the situation and treating it with products that you can buy from your local box store. So I hope everybody's ready. Stick around. See ya. Hey guys, we're back. We just got to the new construction. For the most part, the lawn looks really good. It's just lacking in a few things. See, like, you can see the different spots. How it's growing up and it's not growing up. It just needs fertilizer. And um, we need to put some insecticide and fungicide down on it. The good three major groups get rid of a little bit of this thatch hit it with a heavy dose of nitrogen and uh we should have him going he's gonna be mowing like crazy before he knows it and probably hate me <laughs> does got good soil though he's got mushrooms coming up everywhere so that's a plus st augustine is looking a little bleached because it needs nitrogen and iron but other than that it's looking real good for new sod construction so this is what you want it to look like nice and thick but we'll get it squared away we're gonna take a trip to our local box store and pick up everything we need we'll see you back there peace we're at my buddy's new construction lawn we just went and picked up some stuff to um, you know get his, his lawn back in shape we went and got some stock disease X for the fungus that he has in his lawn to help cure and prevent the fungus and get the uh, grass growing nice and thick you know of course you can pick this up at any Home Depot or Lowe's any box store covers up to 5,000 square feet yeah, everybody knows what Scott's Disease X is it's a great product we went and picked up Roundup Bug Destroyer Treats up to three months. Also treats 5,000 square feet. So, gets rid of a wide variety of things. Grubs, sod webworms, cutworms, everything like that. You know, I've heard really good things about this product. So, we're going to um, throw it down and give it a shot. Got high hopes for it. And then we went and picked up some sunny land professional turf fertilizer covers up to 11,000 square feet this is their broad range spectrum professional <coughs> turf fertilizer it's a 1608 so it's going to uh, drive the grass to grow really good and uh, give it some relief from uh, the summer heat help keep it from stressing out his lawn is about 6,000 square feet, so we're going to use about half this bag and uh, save the other half for uh, next time. And he has a few weeds that he wants to take care of, so we got some, some image and a ready-to-spray hose-in sprayer. Very easy to use. Knocks out a wide variety of different Florida weeds. We're going to use it to spot spray. We're not going to blanket application because he only has weeds in a few spots. So we're just going to spot spray 
with this like you would any other normal, uh, you know, spot spray. So. That's pretty much it, guys. We got our fungicide, our insecticide, our fertilizer. Has iron in it, so it's gonna get a nice green up, nice growth. And the herbicide. Got all four that we need. We're gonna water it all in afterwards, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Just gonna loosen everything up nicely so that all the um, fertilizer and everything gets down to the soil the way it's supposed to. Try to pull out as much of that dead as you can. Good thing about St. Augustine is it'll fill in really fast because of uh, it grows by runners. First, we're going to put down the Scott's Disease X at bag rate. The bag rate says for preventative rate, you're going to go two and a quarter on the, um, the spreader settings. And this will cover up to 5,000 square feet. He has about 6,000, what'd you say? 168. 6,200 square feet. So we're just going to put it on a little bit lower setting, put it on a two, and we're going to move a little bit faster to cover the entire yard. That works because he doesn't have a lot of fungus, so we can put it down at preventative rate and get away with it. If he was full of fungus, then we would put it down at curative rate and we would apply again in four more weeks. So this should knock out everything I see going on there. We're going to put this down. We're going to put the insecticide down, the fertilizer down, and then we're going to water it all in. We got the Echo RB60. Just purchased it um, probably about two weeks ago. This will be the third application I've used with it. It's a great spreader. Uh, bought it on Arlington Power Sports online for about $139. It was a little bit more pricey than you can get it at Home Depot, but they've been out of stock at Home Depot for about three months now. So I had to pay a little bit more. We just filled it up with the Scott's Disease X. We're gonna run it around the yard. And uh, yeah, got the nice edge guard so you can get up against the sidewalk and uh, not throw it all over the sidewalk not throw it into the flower bed and stuff like that so echo rb60 join the gang Long care nut in the making. All right, come back at me with one more pass. We're just in need of some some nitrogen bad. 
Just need some nitrogen, man. A little bit of nitrogen, a little bit of love, and this grass will be beautiful. Nice and thick. Over here, these few spots just need some loving. Alright guys, so that's it for the Disease X. Next we're going to use Roundup for lawns. Bug Destroyer. I've heard really great things about this. I've yet to use it myself because I haven't had a whole lot of problems with pests this year. But we're going to use it as a preventative here because it looks like he may have a little bit of um, a little bit of a chinch bug going on. And maybe a little bit of grub damage. I'm not 100% sure on that because grub damage looks a lot different than how this looks. But it treats a wide variety of things. Ticks, fleas, spiders, ants. You know, cut worms, sog web worms, white grubs. It says put the spreader on a three and three quarter for 5,000 square feet. So we only have one bag of this. It covers 5,000 square feet. He has about 6,200. So we're gonna lower our setting to a three instead of a three and three quarter. And if we have any left in the spreader after we get through hitting the entire yard, we'll just go over it again so you get the proper application rate. That boy got some speed behind him. Look at him go. Yes, sir, like a professional. How you like that spreader, bro? Hey, okay. <laughs> Just do your thing. I'm just gonna follow you. And that's how you do it, boys. All right, guys. It's the last product in our lineup. 1608 Professional Turf Fertilizer from Sunnyland. There will be uh, links in the description below to uh, Sunnyland and to Yard Mastery to get these products. All-around blend for the summer. This is going to push nice, healthy growth. It also has iron in it too, so it's going to give it a nice green dark effect. Um, apologize, the humidity here in Florida is like 90%. You could cut it with a knife right now. What do you think, Anthony? Yeah, that's killer. <laughs> so, the back of it says it doesn't have the Echo RB60 on it, but the Vigro broadcast is very similar to the Echo RB60, so it says put it on a 6. So we're going to go with the 6. This covers 11,000 square feet. Remember, always slap your furt. Like the big dirty little furt. Um, covers 11,000 square feet. It's made by Sunnyland Corporation here in Sanford, Florida. Lee Moore, great guy. Check him out. Buy some of those products. I know. Plug-in after plug-in after plug-in. <laughs> 